everyone, how are you doing? You have Mike here, and today we're looking at the Inkbird ITC608T. Now this here is the um, humidity and temperature uh, controller. So this here will help regulate the temperature and humidity within your grow room. Um, so I actually only picked this up because I had a problem within my tent, um, which could have nearly just ended my whole grow season and everything, because I almost lost all of my equipment. So. Uh, what happened was I picked up a humidifier for my tent because I did notice that my humidity was just a little bit too low and uh, as you guys know you need to keep your humidity pretty stable um, so I was running into some issues so this specific um, humidifier that we bought um, it basically just has a setting to turn how much you want it to push do you either want it to push a lot of humidity or just a little bit so um, there's no setting to turn it off when it gets to a certain humidity level so unfortunately, uh, I have been doing a, well. I've been doing a pretty good job keeping and keeping an eye on it, um, filling up the tank we needs and turning it off at nighttime. Um, so one night I did forget to turn it off, and it fogged out my tent. Now normally this wouldn't be such a big deal because you would normally have your ventilation running, um, but since my plants weren't really smelling at this point, um, I had been turning off my ventilation at night, so it was on a smart switch to automatically turn off. Um, so what happened was my tent basically filled with fog and all of my lights, all of my equipment and gear got totally soaked. Now I'm lucky that nothing was damaged in this process, but I wanted to make sure that something like that was never going to happen again. So that's where this controller here comes into play. Now this here is one of the most advanced controllers that you're going to pick up on the market for the price that it is for like a hundred bucks Canadian. Um, that's awesome. Like the next up kind of stuff you're going to look at is going to be like five, six hundred bucks for a controller. And, um, this is going to give you the same sort of thing. So um, let's get somewhere a little bit quieter and let's take a good look at it and we'll show you how to program it and everything else. Okay, so before we get too far ahead, this here is the Inkbird unit. Um, so I'm just going to explain a little bit on the information that's on the panel right now. So this here is the current temperature and this here is the humidity. Now they're, the temperature sensor, sensor is right here, um, the humidity sensor is right here very sensitive sensors too. If I just put my hand on it just for a second, uh, you'll see the humidity. Oops, if I can move my fingers, you will see it jumping up right away. Um, very sensitive sensors. Now that what you heard was actually an alarm that I had set um, playing around. If it got too uh, moist or too humid of an air, um, it would actually send off an alarm. That is one of the features that we're going to show you here in a moment. So right here, you can see that there is a cooling indicator light. So there's a cooling and there's also a heating indicator light it tells you what you're doing. Um, so let's say if you wanted to run a fan like we are doing here, um, this would be for cooling. But if you wanted to run a heater, um, you'd be able to do that also with this unit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit the setting button and we're going to hold it. Now this here is going to ask us if we want heating or if we want... Um, the humidity, temperature or humidity. Um, so let's start out with the temperature. Uh, so we're gonna be, what it's asking here is HC means, are you going to be heating or are you gonna be cooling? Um, so like I said, we're going to be cooling. Now set the target uh, temperature that you want your fan to kick on or whatever you're using, air conditioner, whatever. Um, so I want this to turn on at 25 point I'll just turn it on at 25 degrees. At 25 degrees, I want this fan to kick on. Now, what this is asking here is the difference. So would you like it to go uh, three degrees difference before the fan kicks back on? Now that's obviously for, you know, if you had a compressor or something like that in the fridge, um, you wouldn't want it just jumping back on and off all the time. So I'm gonna put this here, since it's just a fan, uh, let's put it to, 0.5 of a degree. That's going to keep us a real stable temperature in our room. Now the alarm high is what we heard a little while ago, but that was for humidity. Um, so 32 degrees, if it's 32 degrees, I want to be let know that there's something wrong. So that's fine. Uh, alarm low, I, I, it's never going to get low, so I'm not really worried about that at all. So I just kept this to the standard setting, which is minus 40. Now this here is actually something else too. It's called a compressor delay. Um, so like I was saying earlier, if you had a fridge or something and you wanted to make sure that this didn't just kick on every couple of seconds, 
Um, you could set this to one minute, two minutes, three minutes, whatever you'd like. Once again, with a fan, that's not really a big deal. Um, so we are going to just keep it the way it is. Uh, calibration. So if you notice that your sensor was off by a degree or two, you could calibrate that um, and set it to whatever you'd like to recalibrate it and you're good to go. Uh, so this last setting here is just uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, we're in Canada, we use Celsius here, so I'm going to keep it to Celsius. So right here we're going to go over to the uh, hu um, humidity, which is going to uh, give us the next option, which is do we want to add a humidifier or a dehumidifier. Um, so we are looking to add humidity because we have low humidity here. So I'm going to click on this. 40% um, humidity is a little bit low, so I would like it to stay at around 60 just for now. At the stage of the, at the at the stage where my plants are, I think 60 is the best. There you have it. Now, once again, this is asking the difference between when you want it to kick back on. Now, I think 3% humidity is quite a bit, um, so. Let's turn it to 1.5. So 1.5% of a difference. As soon as there's a difference of 1.5, this is going to kick back on. Uh, so this is what we heard a little while ago for sure, the 65% uh, percent relative humidity, humidity. If it goes higher than 65%, this is going to beep and go nuts. Now that's really important because like I was saying earlier, if I would have had this in here, this wouldn't have been an issue um, a couple of weeks back and the alarm low, which is 8% uh, humidity, which I don't think it's ever gonna get that low, uh, so I left it like that. Uh, so this here is the same thing. This is like some sort of compression to, uh, compressor delay, so if you had a fridge or something, um, but I don't really know how that works with this. I don't really have anything, like my humidifier can turn on and off uh, without having any sort of issues, so uh, that's not something we're gonna worry about, so we're just gonna leave this here at zero. And once again, this is if you need a calibration or calibrate the sensor. But like I said, this sensor is very uh, sensitive. So I have another sensor in the tent and it's giving me this, about the same readings as this, as this one. Uh, so I'm going to say that it's calibrated pretty correctly. So now what I'm going to do to program it is we're just gonna leave it for 30 seconds here and it's gonna jump back into its normal operation mode. And here you go. All right, so you may have seen this unit here while I was unboxing. Um, this here is the Inkbird Bluetooth sensor. Now this is really cool. This is not connected to the other um, uh, other device at all. This is its own separate thing. This was here at about $30 Canadian. Um, and what it does is gives you a Bluetooth record of all of your humidity and temps. Now I find this really handy because um, this also has an alarm. So it will alert me to my phone if there's an issue which I find is really cool. Um, the only downside to this is it's only Bluetooth, so it doesn't only work within your, your house or area. Um, but it does give you a really cool information. It will give you a breakdown of all of your um, temperatures and humidity. And if you can scroll over, and you can see here that my temperature has been rock solid since um, we've been using this meter. So, I'm going to go and get these two sensors set up into the tent. Take a little peek in the window. So over here in the far back, see the uh, inkbird sensor? Let's see if I could, uh, I guess it stops doing that. All right. Um, so you can see that I got the humidity sensor right off to the side. And I've also got the temperature sensor uh, about three quarters of the way up the tent. Now I have the other inkbird sensor hanging on this rope right here on this hook. So let's open up the tent and let's take a look at it. So yeah, see this here is the inkbird sensor. It's dangling up here. It's actually away from this light, so it's not getting the heat from the light. But there you have it guys. There is the inkbird sensor. And uh, in the back over here, turn it up, we can see that we got our other 
brake sensor over here. So there you have it. So hope you guys took something from this video. Um, hope you don't leave your uh, humidifier on in your tent and uh, risk losing all your gear. Uh, but I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Hope you guys all have yourself a, uh, a great day. Peace.